Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Scribe. Okay, in this video, I will show you how to create a Sprite Lab project in lesson 29 and a course project. Okay, let's go. Okay, in this project, you will create a Sprite Lab. Okay, so first, I would like to create the background first okay and then you choose the background okay I choose this one and after that I make a sprite and how many sprite you want for the first I choose the my actors my sprite is for the first is I use alien okay I choose this yellow alien here and I set a location to here down here okay and after that, I make another sprite that is called the obstacle sprite. So I use the B, B as sprite, as obstacle, obstacle sprite, sprite, okay? So I make it a little bit more. I use it around five sprite of B, okay? And after that, I use the, um, the random location. So I go to Sprite. Oh no, you, you, you go to the location and drag the random location here. And this one you can, no, no, for this. For this, you can use for the alien here. And for the B, you can copy and paste and delete all of this, okay? This location because when the program start, I want all the B has a, a random location, not come with the same place, okay? The same location, okay? And after that, I have to set the sprite to a little bit more smaller, okay? It's around 75, okay? The B, and after that, I start. The behavior of that of that sprite is I start the B to be rendering, okay? Rendering with rendering here. Okay, let's run. Okay, when you start the the B start flying like that, and after that you have to move your alien around the screen by use the arrow key here. So in order to do that, you have to use the even. Okay, and even you can use the even click or or you can use the arrow key. If you use arrow key, you use here. So you change it to while. Okay, while the button key up. Okay, this one is arrow key up, and after that you copy this one is down, and after that you copy and paste. This is for the left arrow key, and after that. This is the right arrow key, okay? So when you press up, you have to move your sprite to the north, okay? You can come here and move the, your actor, your sprite is alien here to north. And after that, when you press down to south, and after that, when you press left, press left, you go to west, okay, and right, you go to S, like that. So let's try. And you go up and right, left, down. Okay, well done. You can drag it a little bit more higher here to rearrange your code. And after that, you, you have to make another spy. I make another sprite, call it the, uh, you can choose whatever you want, but for me, I use the, the, the alien one, what's alien one, okay, I choose a coin, okay, use coin here, and after that, I set that sprite, that coin, 
a little bit small, okay, to 50 like that. And after that, you can set it the random location to while the program start, okay, when the program start, okay, like that, random location. And after that, you have to control when the alien touch the B and touch the coin, what's happened, okay. So for, for, for the first, you go to even, you check this one, okay. When the alien start touching the B, what you want? You want the alien go back to the same location here, okay? Okay, you need to use the jump to location, but in this we cannot see the this block, okay? So what you have to do is you right click at the top here. You can go to open the new tab, and you can go to the project, the the course that you enter, like this. Okay. Go to the express course, and after that you go to down here and check this example one like that in the lesson 29. After that you choose the cupcake done sprite lab. Okay. And after that, you can go to copy the copy the line of the jump to location because I didn't see the jump to location in this in in this project. You can go to sprite. I cannot find it, so I just copy from this project. Okay. So after that, you can use here. Okay. When the alien touch the B. You can change the location of the alien here, not random location. You set it here to specific location, okay? Just set it down here like that, okay? So well done, let's try. Okay, now we go type the B, okay? When type alien type the B, it will come back to the same location, okay, like that. So Another one is you copy this code, okay, this even, and after that, you have to set when the alien touch the coin, you have to change the location of the coin to another, okay? So what you have to do, you go to the sprite and you use the chain, no chain, you can set it here, no, you can use it here, just jump to location the same, okay? So, but for this time, you remove this and copy out the random location to put it here. Okay. Run. Okay. Can come back. Okay. Touch. Oh, no. Sorry. We used the uh, coin, not the, uh, not the B. Okay. Reset and run. Touch B. It come back. Touch the coin. Coin will move to another location and you can try you can have to move the alien to type the coin okay not type the b if type the b you come back to down here okay again okay like that so that's all for this game a little, a little small game in sprite lab here and you can try by your own to make something more interactive and more useful okay Another one is you can go to the world and print like the instruction to the user. Okay, you can type help alien to reach the coin. Okay, like that. Okay, that's all. You can run and play. Enjoy. Okay, that's all. Okay. So that's all for this project. I hope you all guys understand and can build another another project or another game like that by your own. Okay. See you again in the next video. Goodbye.